of course I'm an idiot I've been talking and talking and talking the the thing is with StreamYard is you have to add yourself to the stream to make the microphone work and I didn't have it working so that entire spiel that I just gave was a waste of time <laughs> well we've got Declan Declan's view there so I'll just say it all again briefly um, starting with Decker Decker's has been away from Minecraft and it's been about two months I guess I'm not really sure and anyway he's back and he's decided to just pick up where he left off and he's uh, carrying on with building on the ship here as you can see and so we can just watch him for a while and, and you can hear about the hacker we had a couple of hackers no sorry we've had hacking all weekend and yesterday sorry and today um, it's Monday in New Zealand right now and uh, one guy managed to get on on Saturday now I think at the time that he got on I was working on the server and I had at that moment just disabled the security code that I wrote and so he was able to get on without being checked and um, it didn't give him any special powers he wasn't able he, he was in survival mode but he was able to fly and do things that you shouldn't be able to do in survival so I figured he's using a hacked client of some kind which means basically advanced Minecraft player okay that's fine you know we would like to be helped by people who have experience with Minecraft uh, but this guy was he was quite arrogant and he was showing off that he could fly and how he he called himself the what do you say the, the overlander I don't know what that means but anyway at one point he said to me give me t a couple of stacks of dirt and I thought that's a bit rude but I pointed to the hills and I said which weren't very far away and I said there's some dirt there and he said give it to me and then he said give it to me give it to me he repeated himself a couple of times and I thought oh no that's that's rude so I said well no and you know you didn't even say please and then he says please and I thought oh boy that's that's snarky um, well previously I'd kicked him as soon as he came on I kicked him a couple of times he kept coming back and he's going hey blood why are you doing that da, da, da. at this point I was I was fed up with him so I banned him and by banning him that meant that I got a few minutes of reprieve because he would have had to get a new IP um, if you just kick someone or kill them they instantly come back you get no break from them so I thought oh, I'll ban him and that'll get rid of him for a while until I put the security back up uh, anyway that taught me something about whitelisting oh that's the thing later on he came back on and all three of us were on Declan Anton and myself we were on the server and this guy came on and hacked us and he managed to connect and what he did was he activated the whitelist and he deleted Anton from the whitelist then took his connection or kicked, uh, kicked him off so but somehow he'd gained ops because you can't kick someone unless you're an op you can kill them but you can't kick them uh, and when Anton tried to reconnect he couldn't get on because he wasn't whitelisted that, that taught me about whitelisting I had misunderstood it I thought that whitelisting did not work at all unless you were being um, uh, authenticated by Mojang I thought it didn't work at all but I was wrong it does work and so I've modified the way the server runs and I'm now using the whitelist how it was supposed to be used I was using it wrong uh, so I went down the wrong track and I've wasted a bit of time doing that but now so this this is a better solution so uh, Mr Overlander or whatever your name is thank you very much for hacking us I appreciate it you taught me something just like on the other stream where we got hacked over at spawn um, I forgot what I learned from those guys but I knew it was I, right now I can say it's, it was important and I'm grateful for it so that was that that's the spiel then you would have seen in the stream although there was no voiceover 
that we went to the western town, the old western town and now the new western town that Anton's building. I talked about that. There was a building floating in the sky. That building is being used as a reference. It's, Anton built that in the old western town and then he used the clone function to move it to the new western town. Uh, but I don't think he wants to try and twist, turn it because it has to be rotated 90 degrees. And I think he, th he said he tried that and it, was, it didn't really work. So he decided to just leave it there as a, a model and he's copying it onto the ground. That's why it's floating in space. Once it's finished, he'll just delete that and then uh, you know, go on with the next building it's in the same way. That is pretty much all of the updates. So then I came back here, we hooked up with Declan and Declan's busy and he's got a huge job ahead of him. So it might be, you know, he might be on for perhaps an hour. I don't know, who knows? We'll be, we're just grateful for whatever time he wants to spend on here building um, because it's just a wonderful experience and wonderful entertainment. And that's what our server is all about. Um, oh, you know, if you want to cause mayhem and fight and blow things up, absolutely, you can do that. There's a whole world on this server. But, you know, we just wish you'd do it somewhere else. Not on our good stuff that we've built because, you know, that's for us to play with, not to repair. Uh, anyway, I'm going to update the, um, the description for this stream um, because I would like if anyone's watching this to go and check out uh, NR wait a minute yeah oh what is it oh it's Liam's Liam's channel anyway just a second I'm gonna um NWR Gordon Productions. Right, I'm going to put a thing in the stream about that because I want people to go and check him out. This is a friend of Anton's from school, right? And um, he's doing some really, really interesting videos. Oh, where's my mouse gone? Uh, some of them are kind of like he's done remixes of quite well-known rap songs like you know uh, um, gosh I don't know Iced, Ice Cube uh, Dr. Dre uh, and that sort of thing and some he's done some rap songs that he's put his own words to and um, I found them to be quite quite poignant uh, he's uh, I think he's 13 he's, I think he's just slightly older than Anton Anton's 10, 13 he's just started high school this year he's in at uh, high school and I think uh, uh, Liam was in high school last year when they became friends but uh, now they're going to school together um, right where do I edit what is this okay information about his channel. Let's see. Copy link. N W R Gordon. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna expand this as I go but because I want to put a link to all of the various channels that we support that are friends of ours. So is that is Declan. Declan's got a, um, what do you call it? He's on the banner. I'm gonna also update the banner. I'm gonna get a chance to do that. Uh, yeah, this is, I wasn't gonna do a stream. I just happened to see that um, Declan was on and I thought this is a great opportunity to get this done um, because 
um, oh, they were saying it. Gosh. Um, I've had a pretty successful day. It's a long, st there's some stuff that, um, and so it's even a nice way to just round off the rest of the day to, um, to do a stream. to so many channels I forget who, who I'm looking for it's Linksies or something Lishies Lishies YouTube is what it is where the heck is it do I not maybe she's killed the channel Wait a minute, it's not Lishy's YouTube, it's um Tracy something. go to StreamYard I'll be able to see it in the banner. Oh no, that's not where it is. It's on what yeah. here it is. Katie Owen. Gosh. She's oh yeah, she this she is. HCPS. Oh, 
What the heck is that? What do I just do? Right, now that banner should be correct. Subscribe to Anton, subscribe to NWR Gordon Productions. And subscribe to Deckers AFL. Yeah, that's what we want, good. See, the economy's gone crazy this year, but you can still buy cheap cola from the supermarket. I think this bottle that I got was a 1.5 litre bottle. It was, uh, I think, a dollar and ninety cents. Not as nice as Pepsi or Coke, but it's okay. Wow, that's the video. The audio seems really, really quiet. I think Anton's turned the, mic the volume down on the microphone. Why didn't I think of checking that? Oh yeah, he has turned it down. I had it up at 70% or something. Okay. I'm sorry if you've struggled to hear what I'm saying. Um, if you wanted to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> You might have been quite happy not hearing what I'm saying. I don't know. But if you can hear me now, and I'm just going to try and boost the uh, microphone a little bit more, please go and check out Liam's channel, NWR Gordon Productions. Now, NWR Gordon Productions relates to Thomas the Tank Engine, NWR, I believe this is what it is, is NWR is the North Western Rail Railroad. Uh, Gordon is one of the engines from um, Thomas the Tank Engine. So it's NWR Gordon production. So that's what was um, of interest to Liam when he began his channel. He's also interested in a local TV series called Shortland Street. And as I said before, he's been um, remixing um, rap music and hip hop songs, or I guess that's what you call it, uh, for the likes. For, and he's been putting his own lyrics to music as well. And I think some of it's really, really good. And uh, I want to encourage people to listen to it. Um, I tried sharing his channel on X and a couple of videos, but of course, nobody follows me on X. So <laughs> that was came to nothing uh, but you know he's only got 22 subscribers so far and I'd like to you know generate a bit of interest in his channel for him see if we can get him up to 500 or a thousand just like Deckers Deckers um, I think he's holding at 550 or something like that 
um, I'd, I'd be really, really pleased if we can get um, uh, Liam's channel up to 500. That'd be great. But anyway, just listen to his music. Uh, you know, it's quite um, quite thought provoking. You know, for a young boy, his, he's telling his his story about you know what his experiences are like. It's uh, really quite remarkable music, I think, for a a 13 year old New Zealand kid who. Um, well, I mean, there's some talented people at, at young ages around the place. Um, I didn't expect it from them. Uh, you know, I don't really know him that well. He's just a friend of my son's from school. Um, but since I've been watching his YouTube channel, I've been getting a new, a new um, appreciation for the boy. And he's a lovely boy. He's a really polite, really nice kid. Got a, got a bit of a, a dark alter ego by the look of it. <laughs> But still, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So yeah, please go and check his video, his channel out. And now, let's just enjoy Declan for a while. What did I do? Oh no, what did I do? Oh. I don't know what I did, but I thought I'd, I'd turned off the audio. So I put it back out was, I'm just gonna put the headset down, have a drink of cola and watch.
I, I just had this idea about all the different villages. We've got quite a few villages. Um, what we could do is just remodel them as um, like um, like with a theme. That's what I'm trying to think of. For instance, maybe you could make um, a village like as if it was in Vietnam in the during the war. Egypt, I think, would be amazing. I think somebody's already done that, actually. Egypt, but, um, you know, you could make a great big giant sphinx out of sand or something. That'd be neat. And a big pyramid. I wonder how big your pyramid could be. What's the biggest pyramid? Let's ask Google. Biggest pyramid in Minecraft. Okay, somebody says he's done it. I built the largest pyramid in Minecraft. What is the record? Two million blocks. It took a year to build it. I'll get out of here. They say it's a one-to-one -one scale reconstruction of the giant pyramid. How? The base of the giant pyramid is approximately 240 meters. Assuming each Minecraft character is about one meter tall, this reduces the size of the pyramid and each block is about one meter long compared to the size of the, each character. What does that mean? Someone built it in Minecraft education. Oh, that's no. It's tiny. What? Player breaks tallest pyramid record, world record in Minecraft survival. 2022 it's big it's big it's like four or five hundred blocks wide two hundred and seventeen thousand blocks See that up close.
Uh, I've just posted a link in the chat and that is to a Reddit thing that is not a nothing to do with the pyramid it's um, a video that just shows the construction of a giant sculpture that is really quite amazing it's worth a look and that's just part of it that's the first part of, the, of it oh wait a second Yep, okay, what it is, is they just started with a gigantic base and then gone one block at a time in a row and stepped it up. And they've just gone up and up and up until it's met in the middle. It's gigantic. It was one guy, he built it over three months, it took 208 hours and he spent 92 hours clearing the land. I wouldn't have bothered with that. That's eight and a half days of non-stop work, what's that, 200 hours. That's right, because he was in survival, so he would have had to, um, he was mining, how do you mine sand, or was, was it was it sand, it was probably that, um, that packed sand that um, doesn't break, but it's like that, um, there's a guy who's done these great big Star Wars, um, what are they called, Imperial Starships, and he's done those in survival mode. He spent years building them, and they're amazingly, amazingly detailed and accurate. But you know, let's face it: going to do that for a year, you're a nutcase. And that's okay. It takes all sorts. So the answer is, how big is how big can you build a pyramid? Well, you can spend three months on it, or you can spend a week. How big do you want it?
customers. <laughs> That's what we should get Anton to do. We've had a few technical problems tonight, folks. Sorry about that. We're a bit rusty.
Yeah. Good job. It's looking so cool, man. That's a really hard shape to do, isn't it? 
really hard.
planned that. I didn't see it coming.
Yeah, I see these comments now and I didn't know what they mean. Titanic color layout, I get that. Very nice. The shape of the ship is amazing. And, uh, yeah. I'm more and more blown away as I watch. This is quite an incredible model. Well done. Amp. <laughs> Hacker. Interesting. I was going to say earlier on, actually, it was, it's cool that we hadn't been hacked by anybody. Oh, why am I on fire? Yeah. Oh, I'm in survival. Okay, that makes sense.
Okay, so pretty much that's what happens when we get attacked these days. And all they can do is take my name because um, the whitelist only permits three names, actually four names now on the server. And that's it, you can't use anyone else's name. So what happens is they steal your name, connect to the server. And because of a timing glitch there, um, I wasn't automatically given creative mode, I was in survival. And the reason for that is that um, um, what am I doing? Um, I noticed that I was on fire. Oh no, I was on fire because I was in survival. Okay, it's because I'd taken over my my nickname back and acquired some of the state that the hacker had left my account in when I took over and the server is set to connect people in survival by default and so my code did not get executed and I was not authenticated and did not get creative mode which is okay because neither did he The next time I connected, the server had enough time to really check the connection and it saw that it was me and it was happy and it said, okay, fine, you can have creative mode. But that would not have been given to the hacker. And it's also why I came back on so quickly. Look at this guy. Pretty fast. Mind you, those hackers are fast too. When they destroy something, they really do it fast. Me, on the other hand, I'm slow. Sort of fast. If, I, if I'm doing a long row of something like that, then I'm reasonably quick. But otherwise, I don't know. Isn't this thing beautiful? I thought it was awesome when it was just a big grey thing in the sea, but now, and it's not even finished, it's amazing. I mean, look at this, he's still working out how the floor goes. Heaps to do. It's great. Glad I like it. Yeah, man. Yeah. And, you know, when I first saw this carpet, the way you've laid it out, I was like, oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. But now that I see it in the context of the room, perfect. I don't know what else to say. Cool. Looking good.
yeah that's good you can even switch the type of planks can't you you can use those lighter colored ones as well because that's already in the in the scheme yeah let's see if you do that there is it okay to do these ones like that and of course it is you can always you can do that you can change to those or you can change to something else if you want you could have something in between it's all good details on the floor once it's done sure I'm slow. It's much nicer watching Declan and Anton work. They just like zip, 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 zip. Next thing you know, it's all done. Oh, whoops.
Is this okay, mate? Better than just uh, oh, <laughs> just watching. I mean, I don't mind watching, but this will just get it, get this get it there a bit quicker, eh? That's what I mean. Plus, I don't mind building also. This reminds me of um, working on the Dreadnought. <laughs> that was a cool build. It's a shame that we made it up. It's um, based on a Starship, a Star Trek, a Star Wars um, Imperial Destroyer, but it's just guesswork. But I'm really pleased with how it came out. There's no mistaking what it is if you look up and see it. Unless, of course, you don't know what Star Wars is, which is, you know, there's a good chance of that. Oh, look at that, he's already done those tiles, uh, blocks down the aisle there. Yeah. Uh, did you watch Star Wars Empire Strikes Back? <laughs> Good film, Matt. Very good film. It's a real shame what um, Star Wars have done to it. Oh, sorry, not Star Wars, Disney.
thing is though, I don't think Star Wars, the true Star Wars, has or will die. Right now, what we're getting to look at is not correct. But we all know what the formula is. Nothing beats the classics here, man. It's like, um, do you remember when, I think it was Coca-Cola decided they were going to change the recipe for Coke. And they got, I can't remember what it was that changed it. It was like a different kind of sugar or something, or no sugar, or no, it was, it was something. And they changed the recipe for Coke. Not quite the same as Star Wars, but not. it didn't take too long before Coke realised that they'd made a big mistake and they reversed the recipe and they went back to the original. Um, you know, it's a shame that Disney have not yet done that. They've had all these different uh, entertainment franchises that they have altered radically and um, it's not right but the thing is that we know what is is right which is why we're rejecting it because everyone's going hey man this is not Star Wars what are you doing and they're going yes it's Star Wars we own it we know what we're doing and we go nah doing it wrong Star Wars is like this hey man <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, once somebody starts doing Star Wars properly, the fans will come back. The, the actual Star Wars, um, I don't like to say fans, fans sounds not strong enough for an actual Star Wars, um, devotee sounds too weird. Anyway, there's a certain type of person, and it's there are a lot of people, these people, who know what Star Wars is, and uh, know that what Disney's doing is wrong. And there's no fighting it. You can't tell Disney that they've got it wrong, because they don't care. So all you do is you ignore it. Until they go, hey... Stop ignoring us. All right, we'll make what you want then. That's kind of, that's what it is, I think. Okay, who hasn't been to sleep? <laughs> right, I'm going, oh, whoops. I'm gonna take one of those rooms because they're closed, aren't they? Oh, mind you, there's no light. Except for that bed, um, that window. The bed is too far away, right. What happened to the proper owners of Star Wars? Good Lord, don't you know? George Lucas sold Star Wars to Disney. So here's a story. George Lucas sold Star Wars to Disney. He thought he was too old because he was getting old. And he's old now. And he wanted, he trusted Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy to, 
continue the story as he had written it because he had written at least the outlines for episodes 7, 8 and 9 but they didn't use them they instead wrote their own story stories well I could go on about that for a while but they, cha they didn't use what George gave them and um, ended up changing the story to the point where people don't like it and they don't don't pay to see it or buy the merchandise they just don't because it's lost it's it's not Star Wars it, and, and it's lost its um, appeal Um, that was interesting, Declan. Good to see you back. Subscribe now to Liam's YouTube channel, NWR Gordon. and villages Actually, let's shut the door it doesn't really matter I think I think mobs can get in anyway need some lighting oh okay what's going on here why does it seem lit here and not down there you change your skin mind you that looks pretty interesting I like the other one hmm trying to find it wow How does that work? Are you are you um, using your the same Minecraft account that you had before? Well, did you have to pay for a new one? Is that why? You, is is that why you've changed your name? So it's you're implying that it was saved as a file on the on the PC.
but how come see right now for instance Now I look like I usually do. I recognize this skin. But I'm on Anton's computer. I'm not on my computer, I'm on, on, I'm on Anton's computer. If I go to my computer and log in, I look exactly the same. So how come... How come? Because when I look into the, you know, the T Launcher files, I don't really see anything that says this is my skin. Not really. I mean, it may be there, but it, I just don't see anything obvious. Oh, no, but no, I don't know. Anton and I, Anton and I don't have proper Minecraft accounts. Maybe if you have a proper Minecraft account, you do save your skin. But then, why would it be that it's? that I can go to two different computers and have the same skin and I don't I haven't paid for it I oh, hope Anton likes it where am I here Oh yeah, Anton likes the skin. Um, I was just curious about why it was different. But okay, if you've got two different accounts. Yeah, that would make sense. It seems like, well, it sort of makes sense. really know Minecraft very well, to be honest.
Yeah, mate, that is all good. I'm so tired. It's a good time to stop. Very good. Great effort, um, I was going to say Anton. Great effort, uh, Declan. All right, to you, bro. I'll be here because I live here. So, you know, it's all good. I'll probably have the, be on the server. Maybe I'll be watching YouTube or playing chess or both. Pretty much what I do these days. Um, and uh, yeah, it'd be good if you do. I'll, I look forward to that, but I don't expect it, you know. Mind you, this is your project, so it's up to you. If you want to work on it, then that's up to you. Just don't blame me when you fall over and black out, all right? <laughs> you know, you only got yourself to blame. But good on you. Thanks for that, Declan. Thank you. And uh, if you're watching, thanks for joining us on the on the build. Um, I hope it was enjoyable. I had I had a good time. Yeah, good fun. Cheers, mate. So, yeah, come back again. It's he's promised to come back tomorrow. So that's in around about 24 hours from now, I suppose. Or actually, we've been on stream for at least a couple of hours. So. 20 to 22 hours from now more than likely no 22 hours ish because he's a working man in Tasmania so think about the time difference between wherever you are and Tasmania the time difference between New Zealand where I am and Tasmania is about two hours it's a uh, 10 30 here so it's probably about 8 30 there and he's been online for two hours so it's it started probably six o'clock to 6 30 sometime in Tasmania yeah catch us if you can <laughs> and thanks for joining us again like and subscribe tell your friends please we only need like 25 more people to get us to a thousand but you don't have to remember that you don't have to just because I've asked you to you don't have to no pressure thanks a lot and uh, Where's my window? Good night. See you tomorrow, maybe. Bye.